Come on, girls. Come on. Come on. Go on. Go, 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 go. Hey guys, it's Andrew with Anti Tactical. Today we're gonna to be talking about herbicides and taking care of some weeds that are coming into the yard. We're gonna to try to get this done now so that we can wait three to four weeks before we do our fall overseed. Uh, we have some Creeping Charlie coming in. There's a little bit of clover. Um, I'm gonna to try to suppress some Bermuda grass. And then in my neighbor's property, we have some Bermuda grass, we have some crab grass, and we have a ton of clover. So I'm gonna show you what kind of herbicides we have today and what we're gonna be using. Okay, so as you can see, we have a vast array of different products over here. Some triclopyr ester, a non-ion surfactant, some Weed Be Gone CCO, glyphosate, another non-ionic surfactant, tenacity, quinclorac, a methylated seed oil, speed zone, 2,4-D, and then triad. Surfactants and methylated seed oil will allow the herbicide to stick to the weed blade so the weed blade can absorb the herbicide into it instead of it beating up. So all of these are selective herbicides with the exception of the glyphosate. As the name suggests, this is a kill-all. It is a non-selective herbicide. So you do not want to use this if you have any desirable grass because it will kill anything it touches. Tenacity is used by a lot of people. Tenacity is the name brand of Mesotrione. I use this when I overseed because it'll act as a pre-emergent. It's also an herbicide that can control nimble will and cool season grass. Triclopyr ester is a group four herbicide. Clover, Bermuda grass, ground ivy. Weed be gone's chickweed, clover, and oxalis killer, or CCO as people call it, uh, is a ready to use product you can buy in a bottle like this and hook it right up to your little handheld ortho dial and spray and spray it out it's good for clover creeping charlie chickweed oxalis um, it's just triclopyr ester quinclorac is a very popular option for crabgrass speed zone is a good uh, 2,4-D uh, dicamba all-around weed killer 2,4-D is a selective weed killer. It's good for broadleaf weeds. Triad has 2,4-D, triclopyr, dicamba, and sulfetrazone. So that is a very popular option. Today we're going to tank mix Triad TZ Select and Quinclorac with a methylated seed oil. And this will give us control for clover, ground ivy, and crabgrass. We can also use it on Bermuda grass for some suppression because of the triclopyr. So there are different ways you can apply your herbicides. You can use a little pump sprayer. You can use a handheld hose and sprayer. You can use a backpack sprayer. I'm going to use the battery sprayer. So that way when I squeeze the trigger to spray the herbicides, I'm getting a nice consistent even spray and I can coat each weed correctly and not have too much or too little pressure. So before we get this mixed up, I'm going to get the chickens put away and then we will get ready to tank mix. Okay, so now I've changed my shirt. I put on long sleeves, my gloves, my glasses. I have long pants. I have my work shoes that are waterproof on. Now we're gonna go ahead and start mixing these herbicides up. Like I said, we're gonna do quinclorac, triad, and mix in the methylated seed oil. I'm gonna mix three gallons of water into the backpack sprayer, and we're gonna go around back and forth in a grid pattern, not deviating from that path. Any weeds we see along the way of ground ivy or clover, we will spot spray as we go along. And then there's three spots of Bermuda grass that I'm gonna to try to suppress with the triclopyr. And then we'll go out front and hit my neighbor's yard for the crab grass and clover he's got, and also Bermuda grass suppression. Okay, so since we're going with three gallons in our tank, we're gonna start out by first doing one and a half gallons of water. So the label for quinclorac says to use 0.367 ounces per thousand square feet for spot applications. Anytime you're mixing two herbicides together and one is a water dispersible granular and the other is a liquid, 
it's recommended to always do the WDG or water dispersible granular herbicide first, followed by the liquid, finally with the methylated seed oil. So the label rate on the triad is 1.2 to 1.5 ounces per thousand on cool season turf. So just like we did with our fungicide applications, went ahead and used a paddle mixer, stir it all up. We're going to turn the pump on and prime the pump. Now we know when we start spraying, we'll immediately have herbicides coming out of the nozzle. Hey. All right, so that's it. We're all done. Walked through, spot sprayed all the problem areas I saw, took care of my neighbor's front yard. We'll go back around in about 14 days and see if there's any areas still holding tough. The reason I've done this obviously so close to sunset is so now that the day is cooling down, um, we're well below 85 degrees. We're supposed to get down near the 60s this evening. There's a high of 80 degrees tomorrow and then the high in the 70s on Sunday with a chance of rain. So we're not gonna worry about burning any grass that's stressed out or anything by doing this application. I'll go rinse out the backpack sprayer, get everything put away, and that's it. That's how easy it is to take care of clover, crabgrass, and creeping Charlie in your 
cool season turf. We'll make an update video in about two weeks showing you the progress and doing a repeat application if it's needed. And thank you guys so much for watching. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications so you can see the next video that comes out. See you in the next one.